Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 3 challenges for season 9. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to excuse these. Just so you know, since the start of Season 8 you could put challenges as your party assists so you can complete challenges with players in your lobby so if you struggle with one, set it as your party assist and you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, Land a trick with a driftboard and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the first challenge is, get 3 seconds of airtime in a quad crasher and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the first challenge is, destroy opponent structures with a vehicle and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is, Search chests at Lonely Lodge or Polar Peak and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The third challenge is, deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds after using a slipstream and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next four challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, Visit Happy Hamlet and Shifty Shafts in a single match and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the fourth challenge is, visit Sunny Steps and Dusty Divot in a single match and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the fourth challenge is, visit Haunted Hills and Salty Springs in a single match and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, throw the flying disc toy and catch it before it lands and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is, explosive weapon eliminations and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The seventh and final challenge is, deal damage with different weapons in a single match and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. And if you complete all that, and every other previous weeks, you can unlock a secret battle star or secret banner. This week it's a secret battle star and the location of the battle star will be revealed in the details. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, land a trick with a driftboard and if you land the trick you can get two battle stars or 200 XP. Simply find a driftboard and then let your boost charge up. Once charged, use it and just point it up so you have more air time and then as you come back down to the ground, make sure to land flat otherwise you will not land it. The second stage for the second challenge is, get 3 seconds of air time in a quad crasher and if you manage to get 3 seconds you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. Once you find a quad crosser you can build a ramp and launch off it using the boost. Make sure you look into the air while going up so you can get maximum air time. The final stage for the second challenge is, destroy opponent structures with a vehicle and if you destroy three opponent structures you can get two battle stars or 200 XP. The quad crosser is the best vehicle to destroy opponent's structures so use that. You are more than likely to come across a player's build especially in team rumble so once you do, just ram into it and use your boost. The second challenge is, search chests at Lonely Lodge or Polar Peak and if you search 7 chests at those locations you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. Polar Peak has more chests in the location so that would be the best place to land. However this could mean that there are quite a few players land there so if that's the case, Lonely Lodge does still have a few chests it just may be more quiet. The third challenge is, 
deal damage to an opponent within 10 seconds after using a slipstream and if you deal 200 damage you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You could land at Neo Tilted of Mega Mall and get a weapon from there and then go into the slipstream. Once you see a player, go out the slipstream and land on them and try to kill them. The fourth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage out of three is, visit Happy Hamlet and Shifty Shafts in a single match and if you visit both of those locations you can get one battle star or 100 XP. The second stage for the fourth challenge is, visit Sunny Steps and Dusty Divot in a single match and if you visit both of those locations you can get two battle stars or 200 XP. The final stage for the fourth challenge is, Visit Haunted Hills and Salty Springs in a single match and if you visit both of those locations you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. You could get a vehicle for this challenge as you can get across the map the fastest with one. The fifth challenge is, throw the flying disc toy and catch it before it lands and if you manage to catch it you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. You do need to be at least tier 35 in order to complete this challenge. Once you have that, you can throw it while looking straight up into the air. Then you need to run forward just a little bit so you can catch it. The sixth challenge is, explosive weapon eliminations and if you get 3 eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. For this challenge you can only use the following. Rare, Epic and Legendary Grenade Launcher. Epic and Legendary Rocket Launcher. Legendary Boomba. Team Rumble would be quite good for this as you have RESP ons. Either the Rocket Launcher or the Boomba would be best for this challenge as they are quite easy to get eliminations with. The final challenge for week 3 is, deal damage with different weapons in a single math C and if you deal damage with 5 different weapons you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. You could just take any weapon you see and once you deal damage with it, swap it for another one. Or you could just carry 5 weapons and try to deal damage with them all. Team Rumble would also be good for this one as you have RESP ons and you don't need to worry about carrying healing items in that game mode. And if you complete all that, there is a secret battle star to unlock this week. The location of said battle star is on this truck think just southwest of Junk Junction. And that is all the challenges for week 3. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also. We are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.